Hey guys, so today we're continuing on with our R&B passing chords. Chords you can throw into progressions to add some flavour. In part one, we looked at the diminished seven chord or fully diminished chord. And today we're going to be looking at the half diminished chord, also known as the minor seven flat five. So let's quickly look at how the half diminished chord is made. And then we'll focus on the good part, how we can use it. Now, if we use its alternate name, the minor seven flat five, it becomes a lot easier to build. Let's take a minor seven, B minor seven, for example, then flat the five, the fifth note in the key of B minor or our third note in our chord. And to flatten, we're just moving our note one semitone to the left. And that is it. Now we have a B minor seven flat five because we have a B minor seven and we've flattened the five which again is also known as a half diminished chord, so B half diminished. So let's quickly do one more example. Let's take a F sharp minor seven, then again flatten the five. And there we have it, an F sharp half diminished or F sharp minor seven flat five. It's a lot simpler than it sounds, right? So now you know how to build it, let's look at two ways that you can start using this chord today. If you remember in part one, the fully diminished chord, our diminished seven chord, resolved on a minor chord quite nicely. C sharp diminished, D minor. G sharp diminished, A minor. Whereas our half diminished chord is extremely versatile and can be used in front of a major, minor, dominant or augmented chord, for example, with great effect. Let's use it in a simple chord progression. C, G, A minor, A minor, G, C. Here we can substitute our second A minor with an F sharp minor seven flat five. You'll notice that they have no less than three notes in common. C, G, A minor, F sharp minor seven flat five, G, C. Again, F sharp minor seven flat five, G, C. We could also go from our F sharp half diminished down to an F major. Again, they have no less than three notes in common, making a smooth transition. Another way is in a 2-5-1. Here we go from half diminished, B half diminished, to a dominant seven, E dominant seven, and resolve on our minor, A minor. Or we could do our half diminished, then an augmented, then our minor. Or half diminished, major, then minor. There's so many ways to stack this and many places in which you can use the half diminished chord, which I hope you have gathered from this video. It's a great chord to have in your wheelhouse and now you do. To learn more about the 251 or to see part one where we look at the diminished seven chord, go check out the videos and playlist on screen right now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you'd like to see next down in the comment section below. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.